Hello everyone. Greetings from Pioneer Institute of Clinical Research. Uh, today we'll discuss the top 15 interview questions, the most frequently asked question in clinical research. Uh, these are basic questions, but uh, sadly most students uh, do confuse over them and are not aware how things work. So we'll just look into it one by one. Uh, first is adverse drug reaction. Uh, in the pre-approval clinical experience with the new medicinal products, its new uses, particularly as the therapeutic dose may not be established, the, it's all nauseous and unintended response to a medicinal product related to any dose should be considered adverse drug reaction, an adverse event an untoward medical occurrence in a patient on a clinical investigation subject administered a pharmaceutical product and which uh, does not necessarily have a causal relationship with the treatment. So it uh, adverse event may or may not be caused due to the drug. Uh, in this diagram, we'll discuss adverse drug reaction, harm caused by the drug itself, adverse drug event, harm caused by drug application. An adverse event harm occur due to uh, during treatment with the drug. The second and the most vital definition I would uh, like to discuss is clinical trial. Uh, most of the students don't get it right. There are certain phrases that are emphasized, and if you include that into your, uh, you know, when you answer, uh, it will make more sense. So, clinical trial and in any investigation in human subject intended to discover or verify the clinical, pharmacological, and or pharmacodynamic effect of an investigational product, IP, and to identify any adverse reaction to an investigational product and or to study absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion of an investigational product with the object of ascertaining its safety and efficacy. Uh, the main aim of any investigational product is to check its efficacy, effectiveness, and we have to see the safety. The term clinical trial and clinical study are synonymous. Uh, there are different phrases in clinical trial. Uh, first, the drug discovery and the drug development happens. Then the preclinical testing happens in uh, uh, test tube and cultures and uh, animal models. Phase zero is exploratory. Uh, it is generally uh, it's subjective to study to study, uh, but if you whenever somebody asks you uh, the phases of clinical trial, it's phase one, two, three, and four. Phase first uh, test the drug in healthy human subjects, primarily to assess safety and tolerability. Phase two test the drug on larger group and test for efficacy and safety. Phase three multiple uh, large trials testing for safety and efficacy. Phase 4, track adverse events and monitor the effect in the real world. Suppose marketing surveillance is called phase 4. Uh, so even after when it comes to the market, it still has to be monitored for its safety. But certain side effects uh, are rare, but serious. So pharmacovigilance comes to place. CRO, uh, contract research organization. Sometimes some people use clinical research organization as well. A uh, person or an organization, commercial or academic on others, contracted by the sponsor to perform one or more of the sponsor trial related duties and function. So the sponsor, the pharma company can uh, hire a contract research organization to do some of their clinical trial related activity. So they can do drug discovery, they can do phase one, phase two, phase three, they can do preclinical and many other services CROs offer. Essential documents are there, documents with individually and collectively permit to evaluate the conduct of a study and the quality of the data produced. So essential documents are divided into uh, before, the, before the study, conduct of the study, during the conduct of the study, and after the study is closure is there. So uh, these are documents that are needed to, uh, to make sure the study has taken place in a good environment and it's all ethical. G 
gcp uh, you must all must have heard about gcp training and how mandatory it is so gcp is our gcp our guidelines it's a standard for design conduct performance monitoring auditing recording analysis and reporting of a clinical trial that provide assurance that the data and the reported results are credible and accurate and that the right integrity and confidentiality of a trial subjects are protected i feel the confidentiality of the trial subject is the very is the most important thing uh before conducting any clinical trial uh, you have to take uh, the permission from the regulatory authority as well as the ethics committee so what what is an ethics committee it is an independent body a review board or a committee institutional regional national or supranational Uh, constituted by medical professionals and non medical professionals uh, like uh, clinician is there one chairperson member secretary social scientist is there basic medical scientist is there the lawyer is there legal expert is there a lay person is there whose responsibility is to ensure the protection of the right safety and well being of the human subject involved in the trial and to provide public assurance of that protection so in clinical trial you 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 in the even in the previous definitions safety of the patient is paramount safety and efficacy of the drug are the things we are looking for but safety is the number one thing among other things reviewing and approving of the pro providing favorable opinions on the trial protocol protocol uh, is the most important document the suitability of the investigator that is the doctor facility that is the site and the methods and materials to be used in obtaining and documenting informed consent of the trial subject ethics committee review protocol before the study is allowed to start their job is to show the risk of being in the study are not greater than the potential benefit the benefit has to always over you know overwhelm and overtake the risk benefit should always be more than the risk informed consent a process by which a subject voluntarily confirms his or her willingness to participate in a particular trial after having been informed of all aspects of the trial that are relevant uh, to the subject decision to participate informed consent is a document by a means of a written signed and dated informed consent form as you can see in the image this uh, informed consent form is given to the Uh, subject uh, and everything is explained by the principal investigator and the site staff and any questions or any query that the patients have they can discuss it with their doctors and they can even take the informed consent form and discuss with their families and when they when they when they feel it's right for them and they can enroll in the study uh, a copy of uh, the, it is signed by informed consent form is signed by the doctor as well as the subject and uh, The original is kept with the site, and uh, the photocopy is given to the patient so that he can contact uh, the concerned person in case he has any adverse effects to the drug. Has all the details who to contact. Investigational product that is commonly called it IP, a pharmaceutical form of an active ingredient or placebo being tested. or used as a reference in clinical trial including a product with a market of authorization best used or assembled formulated and packaged in a way different from the approved form on when used and an approved indication or when used to gain further information about an approved drug so an investigational product uh, can be a drug a device or it can even be a vaccine uh investigators so it's a very common term that is being used so investigators are basically doctors who are responsible for the safety and conduct of the trial or safety of the patient a uh, participant is the word that we use and the conduct of the trial a person responsible for the conduct of the clinical trial at the clinical site trial site that is the hospital if a trial is conducted by a team of individuals at the trial site the principal investigator is responsible leader of the team and may be called the principal investigator so uh, there is a principal investigator a sub i is there co investigators are there their crcs are there clinical research coordinators the so whole, whole team is there to conduct the clinical trial at the hospital 
I told, protocol is the one of the most important documents. Uh, documents that describe the objective, design, methodology, statistical consideration, and organization of a trial. The protocol usually also gives the background and rationale for the trial, but there could be provided in other protocol referred documents. Regulatory authority, as I told you, we have to take approval from ethics committee as well as the regulatory authority. Now, the regulatory authorities are bodies that have power to regulate. In the ICF GCP guidelines, the expression regulatory authority includes the authority that reviews submitted clinical data and those that conduct inspections. These bodies are sometimes referred to competent authority. The last is uh, the sponsor. Sponsor, as we already discussed, is the pharma company or it can be a non-profit as well. An individual company or institute or organization which takes the responsibility for the initiation, management, and or on financing of a clinical trial. Sponsors may hire a CRO, choose the, then they can choose the investigator to conduct the clinical trial. The CRO, if it's hired, will be the responsibility to monitor as well as the sponsor. So that completes our 15 questions. So for any diploma course related query or webinars, we conduct webinars in hospitals and different organizations and colleges, you can contact us on our website or email ID admin and trade finance institute.com. Do like us on Facebook and like us on subscribe us on YouTube.